Hey everybody, I'm Andy Zimmerman. I'm the Chief Technology Officer here at Grace. Um, and I'm coming to you today to talk a little bit about our uh, Control Gate product offering here, which uh, we just recently received a bronze award from Plant Engineering for their Product of the Year contest in the Asset Management category. Um, and kind of before we talk about that, I actually wanted to take this opportunity to really take a step back and walk through the history of our product line and just give a little bit of context around kind of where we came from and, and how we got to this point. Uh, so I'll start by talking about our, our standard panel mount node. This was a uh, product that was developed kind of between 2015 and 2018 with a desire to provide an opportunity for our customers to take sensor data uh, that they, they might be interested in capturing from their electrical panels and push that to the cloud. So this particular product is designed on the backside with an adjustable terminal block that can be outfitted with conditioning modules for really any sort of sensor that you might be interested in capturing data from. So if that's a thermocouple or an accelerometer or a strain gauge, we can build out a, a SKU that will allow you to capture data from that device, uh, push it wirelessly throughout your facility, and then eventually send that data to the cloud via either Wi-Fi or LTE. Um, as we started to roll this product out, we found very quickly that there was an immense demand for a kind of uh, technology that sits alongside that that would allow us to monitor vibration, um, and specifically vibration out in the field, not in the panel, but you know, mounted on the rotating assets uh, that exist throughout the industrial environment. So back in 2019, we released our vibration and temperature node. Uh, we have a couple of flavors of these. They're designed to monitor triaxial acceleration um, from any sort of rotating asset. And what we do with these, we, we deploy them with a, a battery. Uh, we get a battery life that will give you about three to five years of, of life between battery changes. And this, this device is deployed, will wake up say once an hour, once every two hours, once every 15 minutes, whatever cycle the application demands, take a couple seconds worth of high rate acceleration data and then process that down into a suite of information that's very similar to what you'd get from a standard vibration analyst that's doing a round in your facility. But instead of doing it once a quarter or uh, once a month, we can provide that data kind of on an hourly or, or you know, quarter hourly basis. Um, this product really paved the way for us to get into uh, the industrial space in a very targeted way. Um, and as we started talking to customers surrounding the, uh, the vibration and temperature node, which by the way was actually a 2019 award recipient of Plant Engineering's Product of the Year uh, award, uh, we, we, we started to hear that there was really a demand to take the data that we had previously been capturing from our uh, panel mount node and all the sensors that you can bring in on the back and from our vibration node and provide that data to end users not just through the cloud but also through the PLC. Um, and there's a lot of reasons why an industrial customer might be interested in taking data um, and making it available in that control environment. Um, but primarily it's because you know that there is already been a tremendous amount of investment in most industrial facilities in automation equipment that, that provides uh, data and insights to both controls and reliability engineers you know, through, that, through that PLC or HMI interface. Um, and so by having data available both in the cloud and in the PLC, uh, we have the ability to target the recipients of that data in a very specialized way. So that led us to the development of our uh, control gate product. And in this case, we're actually uh, showcasing a combo gate. Um, the reason we call it a combo gate is because it has both cloud and control capabilities. So on the back side of this device, we build this out with an Ethernet port, and that allows uh, this gateway to take data from any number of these and any number of these and push that both to the cloud, in this case via LTE, and to the PLC over Ethernet IP or Modbus TCP IP. Um, we have you know, quite a bit of content developed around um, how you would go about doing this integration, but a lot of our effort has been on making that very, very simple uh, to be integrated into uh, the control environment. Um, if you're using a standard Rockwell system, our Studio 5000 integration is very easy. Just a couple of clicks, we leverage our uh, web-based maintenance hub to give us the ability to uh, create configuration files that will 
take the data that's captured throughout this entire network and make it available as a set of tags or as a memory map uh, to the controls systems that, that might want to get access to that data. Um, so that's just a, a kind of brief, quick overview of our product line and where it came from. Um, you know, if you have any specific questions, we're, we're always innovating and always developing um, on top of these products. So uh, please reach out and uh, let us know if, if, if you have anything uh, to add to that conversation.